This is where they really know how to recreate the days of the old Wild West and have hilarious fun doing it. But Westerners have as high a regard for today and tomorrow as they have for history. And the sport of today in the West, as it is right across Canada, is speedway racing. I'm Harold Brown, and this is Sundance Speedway. Sundance Speedway is a typical prairie airport circuit. It is approximately 1.8 miles in length and runs in a clockwise direction. The start-finish line is approximately here, and the pit straight would be about 1,200 feet long to the first turn, which is known as Bazuna's Bend. Bazuna's Bend is a sharp right-hand turn and can be taken at approximately 30 miles an hour. You then proceed in a southerly direction to Heimrath Hairpin. Heimrath Hairpin is a sharp left and a sharp right. You approach this corner from the right side it is, as it is a left turn. You start your car into the left turn, and then right about in the area where we are right now, you attempt to set a drift so that you can negotiate the turn without going too far to the right because you are approaching a very, very sharp right turn. You go well out to the left as we are right at the present time, and then you have to have done your... At Fort McLeod, Alberta, on a transplanted airport runway, the future stars of the motor tracks test their mettle for the more arduous years ahead in the international big time. Here, the younger drivers compete in one of the important races counting towards the Players' Challenge Trophy. The top Canadian contenders battle it out over a series of 12 races in four regions of the country. Neck and neck for Canadian championship honors are Harold Brown and George Chapman, but the fortunes of racing favored neither of them at the Sundance Speedway. The driver with the smallest car on the track, Ed Makarenko, stuck to the old adage about the shortest distance between two points and toured the circuit without a single pit stop. His Macaro, Mark II, carried him to a jubilant victory over many higher quality and more expensive cars. As Milt Wright of Imperial Tobacco said when he presented the trophy, Ed Makarenko did it the hard way. 